This is a quick tutorial to show you how to create and add a custom header image to a Google site. This is something that you can do inside apps like Photoshop or Pixelmator, but uh, today I'm going to show you how to do it inside a free website called Pixlr.com. So I'm going to start here by opening their advanced editor and I'm going to start by creating a new image. So title your header, whatever you want to call it, to help you remember. And the width of your header is going to be the same width as your Google site. So you really need to start by setting the width of your Google site. My Google site is 960 pixels wide and I'm going to make the header about 150 pixels high. Then I'll click OK. Here you can see my header that I just created. So I'm just going to drag the corner a little bit to make that bigger. It's just a blank white space right now. So we can put some color on there. Just come down to the tools panel at the bottom here. You can set the main color. And you can choose from this color wheel or just flip over to the web colors here. Let's say we chose this green for instance. Click OK. Then you choose the paint bucket tool and click it. Now you have a bright green header. What I normally like to do though is uh, to use a gradient color. So let's take away the green, just uh, Command Z or Control Z. And this time I'm going to come over to the gradient tool, which is right here. And I'm going to click on this black and white uh, gradient at the top here to bring up uh, my options. So here are some preset gradient tools that I could use. All of these are customizable, but I'll just start with this red one here, for example. This one's very subtle, so I think I'll choose a darker red. So all I have to do is click on this color at the top here, and it gives me this little swatch, so I click on that one, and I'm gonna choose a darker red. So I'll choose this one here, and you can see how that's affected the top uh, left-hand corner of my gradient. Uh, so I like that. I'll click OK and I'll click back up here where my gradient was. Now I have this cross here which I just start at the top of the banner and click and hold the mouse to drag down. Now you see this line that appears with it. If I just let go when I get to the bottom here's my nice dark red gradient. Next I'm going to put some text on. So here is my text tool and I just click where I want to put my text. Now the green and the red together is not really the best color combination so I'm going to change the green. Let's just go for a bright white now. Click OK. You can change the size of your font too so just move this slider around a little bit or you can type in a value. I'm going to leave it at about 43 for now. You can change the style, regular, bold, italic, and bold and italic. You can see how it changes just by hovering over there. So I'll go with bold. And here are where you can choose from your fonts. Again, look, it's nice that you can just scroll up and down like this or go through um, some of these and see what your options are. So let me say I'll just choose this one here, capitals, and click OK. Next I'll go to the move tool which is up in the top left here. Click on that and I get the cursor with the little cross next to it. And now if I click on the text I can just line it up so that it's exactly where I want it to go. Okay let's just do a little bit more text underneath in the same way. Okay so the other thing you might want to do on your header image is some kind of logo and um, I've left some space for my logo over here on the right hand side so I'm just going to open a file on my computer now and bring up a logo. Okay, so here is my logo. It's, uh, it's a transparent PNG, so it's you can't really see much of it right now, but if I do Control A or Command A, I can select it all, and then I can also copy it with Control C or Command C. Then I'll just click back on my header over here and do Control V or Command V to paste it in. Still got the move tool, so I can take my logo, move it over to this side where I have it all lined up 
the way that I want it to be. Now I'm basically finished. All I need to do is save this to my desktop or somewhere where I can find it again so that I can upload it to my Google site. So you go to File and then Save. Change the name again here if you want to. I recommend uh, PNGs because they are good quality files. And then click OK. And I'm just going to save mine to the desktop. OK, so here I am with my blank Google site. Just a couple of things I want to uh, get sorted before I add my header. And the first is to make sure I've set the width of my site to be the same as the header. So you come up here to more and go to edit site layout. Here at the top it says site width. So I'm going to choose a custom width and that will be 960 pixels. And then hit the enter key and you should see that the site itself shrinks in a little bit so we can hit close on that. A couple of other things I need to get rid of right now. First is the title because that will be on top of my header if I don't get rid of that and the other thing is the search bar which I'm going to remove too. So more manage site right here is where you uncheck the box that says show site name at the top of pages so uncheck that and it will be gone so click save the other thing I need to do is take away that search bar so if I scroll down the page a little bit and hit configure search I can uncheck the box that says enable search click OK again make sure I hit save so let's go back and look at the site now and see if it's cleared off. Yep, so blank slate ready for the header. So now I can go to more, manage site, themes, colors, and fonts. To add your header, select site header. And over here where it says image, you want to click this little icon here and find your header image that you chose. Here's the one we made in Pixlr. Click open. You've got some options up here where you can choose not to have it repeat horizontally and vertically. Usually I leave that to none, don't repeat. You can choose whether it should be left, center or right and vertically at the top of your page, the center or the bottom. But this is exactly where I want it to be. So I just click save, keep it in place there, come back to my front page of my website and here it is. If you find that your header is being cropped, and it will depending on the theme you choose, you come here to more, go to edit site layout, click on the header, and over here is where you can set a defined pixel. So if you made your pixel 200 pixels high, this is where you can set your header so that it will also be 200 pixels high. Mine was 150, so I'll just leave it at that. So. There you go, that's how to create and add a header to a Google site.